welcome back student in this video we are going to discuss some more problems on limit in determinate form we are going to discuss some more problems on in determinate form see for example find the limit find the value of i am finding limit x tends to 5 x square minus 25 divided by x square plus x minus 30 x square minus 25 divided by x square plus x minus 30 so what we said when we want to find or when you want to evaluate the limit we are going to substitute the value of x and we are going to find the Answer. I am going to substitute here. This is x squared. This is 5 squared minus 25 divided by this is 5 squared plus 5 minus 30. Here 5 squared 25 minus 25. This is 0 by 0. 0 cannot be divided by 0. So 0 by 0 is called indeterminate form. 0 by 0 is called in determinate form so now we are going to apply we are going to check what we shall do now here i am having x square minus 25 here i am having a quadratic equation we are having a x square minus 25 and a quadratic equation we are going to factorize them we are going to factorize them and then we are going to find the answer so what is x square minus 25 how i can write x square minus 25 so this is a minus b a square minus b square so this is a minus b into a plus b is it right so this is x minus 5 into x plus 5 x minus 5 multiplied by x plus 5. So I have, I have made them into two factors. In the same idea, I am going to make this one into the two factors. This is I am having a quadratic equation minus 30. I am going to make it or I am going to divide that into two parts such as I will get the answer as one. When I multiply, we have to get minus 30. When I add, I have to get one. So I am going to make it into two factors. So I know that very well when I say I can understand this. Six, six multiplied by five is thirty. So when I put minus six minus five is one. Six multiplied by minus five is minus thirty. So I can say the two factors. Now this is x minus five into x plus six. I am going to make them into two factors. One is x minus five and another one is x plus six. So when we check here, we are having x minus five as a common. Factor. We are having x minus 5 as a common factor. So I am going to cancel x minus 5. Now in place of x, I am going to substitute 5. This is 5 plus 5 divided by 5 plus 6. In place of x, I am going to substitute 5. So 5 plus 5 divided by 5. So what is 5 plus 5? 10 divided by 11. So basic idea for finding the term. When we are having the inter indeterminate form, we are going to factorize. If it is the factorizable, we are going to factorize, and we are going to find the solution. We are going to find the solution. Let me check one more problem. So let me discuss one more problem with the same idea. Evaluate limit x tends to minus one, x square plus four x plus three divided by x square plus two x plus one. So in place of x, we are going to substitute the value minus one. So this is minus one square, four multiplied minus one plus three divided by Minus one square, two multiply minus one plus one. So when we simplify this again, we are getting the indeterminate form zero by zero in determinate form. Now we are going to evaluate the quadratic equation. We are having two quadratic equation. We are going to factorize the quadratic equation. So this is limit x tends to 
minus 1. I am going to take the numerator. Numerator I am having 3. I have to divide to get 4. Isn't it? I am going to take 3. I have to divide it to 4. 3, 1, 3 is the 3. When I multiply 1, multiply 3, this is 3. 1 plus 3 is 4. So the factors are x plus 1 into x plus 3. The factors are x plus 1 into x plus 3. The same idea, I am going to take the numerator, denominator 1, 2. We can check like this 1, 1, or this is the fourth. A plus B the whole squared form. We can use any form. So this will become x plus 1 into x plus 1. So I will have a common factor x plus 1, x plus 1. So I am going to cancel the common factor. Please remember, always remember the factor when you are identifying this factor. You check here where the limit is approaching. X is approaching to minus 1. X is approaching to minus 1. One factor should be always the limit. X minus 1. When I take minus 1 to the opposite side, X plus 1. Therefore, there should be a factor X plus 1 so that I can answer them and we can evaluate the function. We can evaluate the function. Now I am going to substitute the values. I know I am going to substitute the values. So what will be the result? Minus 1 plus 3 divided by minus 1 plus 1. So this is 2 by 0. Any number divided by 0 is infinity. General infinity is not an indeterminate form. This is a this is not an indeterminate form. But when we have the numerator and denominators in the in, in Either 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity, 0 power 0, infinity power infinity. These numbers are called indeterminate form. These numbers are called indeterminate form. So whenever we are having the equation, whenever if we are having any quadratic equation or the polynomial, we are going to factorize them and we are going to find the solution. We are going to find the solution. Even we can find the limit values for trigonometric functions also. We can find the limit values for trigonometric functions also. See for example, limit x tends to pi by 2 cos x by cot x cos x by I am going to substitute the value of pi, pi by 2, so this is cos pi by 2 divided by cot pi by 2. This is 0 by 0 in determinate form, 0 by 0 in determinate form. Immediately I am going to check how I can convert the function, how we can convert the function. When I check here, this is cos x. We know that very well cortex is nothing but cos x divided by sin x, isn't it? Cortex is nothing but cos x divided by sin x. That means I can cancel cos x, cos x. I can cancel cos x, cos x. So what will be the value now? We will have limit x tends to pi by 2. This is sin x. x tends to pi by 2, sin x. So in place of x, now I am going to substitute pi by 2. So sin pi by 2, the value is 1. Sin pi by 2, the value is 1. So even for trigonometrical ratios or trigonometrical values, we can evaluate, we can use and we can simplify and we can find the limits. We can find the limits. So let me continue. Here in this video, we were discussing about 0 by 0. Other than that, we are having different indeterminate forms and we are going to discuss them in the next video. We are going to discuss them in the next video. Thank you all.